right now on No More Down Low. Was he killed because he's gay or was he in the wrong place at the wrong time? A murder in Uganda. Prison time in the Cameroon. Why is LGBT hatred reaching a fever's pitch in the motherland? I'm Kendall Hogan. Just how do we fight homophobia in the African diaspora? First and foremost, we can give a message to the rest of the world that human rights are important. Did you just call a purple me? Then, get ready to laugh out loud. The princess of comedy has arrived. She's a fierce, funny woman. I'm Janora McDuffie. We'll meet comedy's triple threat, Gloria Bigelow. I do have great tits, but that's not the way that I should be introduced, you know what I mean, at a club. Then, what's America's infatuation with black men in drag? It's a comedic moment. People need to just chill. Let that go, man. And in Straight Talk, well, Lisa meets the real precious. I didn't think an African-American woman, heterosexual woman, at that could acquire HIV. It's all coming up next on No More Down Low. Hey, y'all, this is Linnell, and you're watching No More Down Low. the excitement. Hello everyone and welcome to Mardi Gras West Hollywood style. That's right. This is not Bourbon Street. It's Santa Monica Boulevard. But we are having a great time all the same. And to kick things off for this episode of our show, we've got Mark Noble down at the Pan-African Film Festival. What's going on over there, Mark? Well, Kendall and Janora, as we're celebrating cinema here from a Pan-African perspective, this is also the place to open discussion about LGBT issues, particularly in countries where there is limited or no equality for same-sex relationships. And where living your life openly can be deadly. Was he killed because he's gay or was he in the wrong place at the wrong time? Human rights campaigners say gay Ugandans have faced weeks of attacks and intimidation. Last week, a man was beaten to death with a hammer in his home. He was hit with a hammer on the head and died on the way to hospital. And said that gays were recruiting one million children by raiding schools. People fear that a gay person would now come in and, you know, change their children. Nobody's trying to control anybody. Case in point, Uganda, as the world saw with the brutal murder of that country's leading activist, David Cato, who was beaten to death. Questions arise as to whether it was a circumstance of a robbery or flat out being attacked for being gay. It's unacceptable, you know, to have this kind of uh, situation happening still in 2011 now. Ironically, Cato's death came on the heels of a tabloid newspaper, which plastered not only photos of individuals believed to be amongst that country's LGBT community, but also with the headlines, 100 top homosexuals, and the caption, hang them. We're Africans, we have a strict culture and strict religion, um, so I guess that's pretty much it. On the African continent, homosexuality is illegal in 36 countries, and the fuel of hatred is rampant as mobs go after those suspected LGBT people with little regard for human rights. First and foremost, we can give a message to the rest of the world that human rights are important and human rights everywhere in the world are part of American foreign policy, the press for human rights. During the Pan-African Film Festival, same gender-loving relationships within the African diaspora are explored. In the film, Cameroon, coming out of the Nkuto, is a film about an attorney who helps to gain the release of men imprisoned for being gay. Another piece, Children of God, wherein same gender-loving males of different races find and explore their relationship in the Bahamas. But they wanted to make sure that whatever image was coming forward was one that they felt was true. And that's another wonderful thing about this film. And I wish, quite honestly, that more African-American films were like this. There is a broad scope of different types of Bahamians in this movie. What these pieces do is perhaps open a door to understanding same gender relationships and at the same time impact the struggle for global acceptance and the human rights of LGBT people. This film has enhanced my life tremendously because now there's, there's a part of my being that is more conscious in terms of that area. So anytime a friend of mine is telling a joke that is geared towards gay people, I said, I don't want you to think that that's comfortable. 
it's going to take a while, but it's beginning to sink in little by little. They're beginning to accept it. We have to spread the message, you know, uh, speak it up, and, uh, and hopefully we can get the attention of the people that can actually change uh, behavior of thousands, maybe millions. Mothers need to advocate for the rights of gay babies. Mothers need to advocate for the rights of gay babies. Isn't that quite something? And Felicia Rashad said it best, perhaps the best way to end homophobia globally is for mothers to love their gay babies. From the Pan-African Film Festival in Los Angeles, Mark Noble, No More Download. Kendall, back to you.